Hey, how's it going guys? Blue Tempest here and welcome back to another video. So today we got some very special news and that is that Zatch Bell is making a comeback. As many of you guys probably know, as I've talked about it time and time again, Zatch Bell is one of my favorite childhood series. I grew up with the anime when I was a kid and it's just such a nostalgic series for me. So this is definitely one of those series that I've wanted to have in my collection and collect uh, as far as the manga, uh, but it's just so hard to do so because these volumes are really rare and out of print. And to add salt to the wound, uh, Viz never actually finished publishing this series in English. So even if you did want to collect it, uh, technically not all of the volumes are even available in English. So you would have an incomplete set of the series if you did get all of the volumes that were released over here in the West. So when I say that Zatch Bell is making a comeback, what I really mean is that the mangaka Makoto Raiku has just announced that he is going to be starting a sequel series to Zatch Bell titled Zatch Bell 2. Come on, man, you couldn't really think of a better name than that. Either way, this is still very exciting news. Hopefully, if this new uh, Zatch Bell sequel is popular enough, then we will see uh, a re-release of the original Zatch Bell and hopefully it can be actually completed in English. Now, if you guys did watch my uh, manga hype video where I talked about all of my most anticipated uh, manga of 2022, but I also did talk about my manga wish list, things that I wish would release in 2022, I did mention Zatch Bell. In that video, I did mention that I would love to see the series get reprinted, maybe even in a new format. Uh, I don't think that if Viz were the ones to do this reprint that they would stick to the same uh, single format. I think the best course of action would be to re-release a series in an omnibus similar to Shaman King. I think that is honestly the best way to re-release this series in English. Now, if I had to predict, I could really see Seven Seas picking up this license if Viz doesn't renew, you know, the rights to Zatch Bell. I'm not really 100% sure if they still hold the rights to release uh, Zatch Bell in English, but Seven Seas has honestly been on a roll lately. They've been announcing a lot of amazing stuff, uh, including some older manga that we haven't gotten in English before. Um, but they've also been, you know, announcing some newer manga series to get published in English. Things that are very, very highly requested in the manga community, such as Tokyo Revengers. So I think Zatch Bell, one way or another, could realistically make a comeback. Now, what this sequel means for the future of the series, um, maybe a brand new anime adaptation i feel like this series would definitely do well with an anime reboot such as like what happened with shaman king or full metal alchemist and hunter hunter and basically any of those series uh that had an anime in the past that wasn't really that close to the manga that had a lot of filler but then got remade with updated visuals and uh was closer to the manga itself I think that that's also a, definitely a possibility. It all really depends on the popularity of this sequel. Now, because of this news, I did decide to actually give volume one of Zatch Bell a read. I hadn't revisited this story pretty much since my childhood. So my nostalgia for the series is very strong for me to be, you know, this excited about it for me to even make a video about this. So because of that, I did want to read this volume. I only have the first four volumes of Zatch Bell, and I don't know if I'm going to pick up more physically. I mean, if, if I see them for a good price, I will. But typically, it's very hard to find these volumes for cheap. 
but uh, luckily enough, I've managed to get the first four for uh, a decent price around retail or actually under retail for some of the volumes. But yeah, revisiting uh, Zatch Bell. I really think that this story still holds up. It does have the typical battle shonen things that you would expect out of a shonen manga from the 2000s. But I think that the concept here and just the characters so far are just so unique, so memorable. I love Zatch as a character and our main character Kyo as well. To kind of explain what this series is about, it's basically our main character who's named Kyo. He is a student who is very book smart, um, but he kind of uh, gets bullied a lot because of that and he's very resentful of it and this intelligence comes very naturally to him so he feels like he doesn't even need to go to school because when he's at school he's miserable because everybody kind of dislikes him for being the smart guy and in the first chapter Keo meets our titular Zatch Bell who is this boy right here and he has these crazy magical powers that can only be activated through a spell book and Zatch himself isn't even really aware that he has these powers but uh, Kyo finds out that by using that spell book he is able to make Zatch shoot waves of electricity and yeah the story kind of goes from there eventually we do find out that there are more of these little magical beings uh, just like Zatch in this world, and they're called Mamados, I believe? Nope, I had to look it up real quick. It's actually Mamodos. And yeah, basically there are a hundred of these Mamodos that came to uh, Earth, and they all have to battle, and the last one standing gets to become the king of all the Mamados. So in concept, it really isn't the most groundbreaking of storylines, but I do love the characters and I love the dynamic between Kyo and Zatch and I love that there's these uh, human and Mamado teams and uh, the battles are a lot of fun and there is a lot of comedy in the series but there's also a lot of serious moments and emotional moments that I think really hit well. I think everything in this uh, first volume was really great and it did still hold up. I don't think it really aged too terribly and you know I may be biased because this series is very nostalgic but I can still definitely see the merit in Zatch Bell and I do think that it does have potential to make a comeback. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you guys excited for this Zatch Bell sequel? Do you guys also want this manga to get re-released? Um, let me know in the comments. But with that, guys, that does it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more manga content. If you do enjoy my content, then make sure to hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a brand new video. You can follow me on all my social media platforms, such as Instagram and Twitter, down in the description. And with that, that does it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.